Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I am in the kitchen today. We are going to cook one of my favorite vegetarian slash vegan recipes. I actually showed you guys the leftovers of this meal in a favorites video and so many of you guys said you would love to know the recipe. So that is what we're doing today. I'm also going to show you how you can eat this for lunch, how you can eat this for dinner. I literally will make this and keep the leftovers and then kind of do different things with it to kind of create different meals. So I'm going to share that with you guys today as well. And this is actually really funny because I am in the kitchen today and Brian is behind the camera. Say hi, Brian. Blah, 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 blah. All I heard is that you're threatened by my cooking videos. <laughs> this is going to be a healthy video, guys. So I have everything all prepared, so let's just get to it. Okay, so first I sprayed the pan with some ham, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of vegetable oil, just a really little bit. We're going to sprinkle that in there. Turn the stove on kind of medium-ish. And then over here, let's put in, we're gonna take our chopped garlic. And I will put the exact recipe of exactly how much you want. Like I kind of just throw in any amount that I want. I'm gonna put some garlic in there, a ton of onions, which are all gonna fall on the floor. I'm gonna put a ton of onions in there. You can put again as many as you want. I just like onions, so I'm gonna put a lot in. Your anxiety level seems low when cooking on a low flame. <laughs> Today, guys. All right, onions, and I put peppers in this recipe. It doesn't call for peppers, but I love green peppers, so we're gonna throw some green peppers in. First, you put the oil into the pot, <laughs> and I'm gonna also throw in some chopped up portobello mushrooms because mushrooms are amazing and they taste so good in this. And we're just gonna, what, what's that word when you let it saute? Saute. We're gonna saute everything. Or another word you're looking for is cook. <laughs> we're gonna let everything saute in here so they get brown. All right, so now that we got everything all brown, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our quinoa, which looks like this, and we're gonna take three fourths cup. Yeah, where is three fourths cup? Three fourths. I always go a little bit over because I love, love extra quinoa. Throw that in there. And then we're gonna take a cup and a half of vegetable broth, organic vegetable broth. I get the low sodium. So a cup and a half. I always add a little bit extra because I actually add extra beans too. So I kind of just, between a cup and a half and two cups. And then we're gonna turn this down to simmer. And we're gonna let that simmer and that quinoa up here. <laughs> and that quinoa is going to cook and it, what it does is it turns into like, kind of like a fluffy kind of, kind of rice-like substance. So we're just gonna let this sit. I'm gonna stir it up and we're gonna let this sit. It says to let it sit for about 20 minutes. And then I'll come back, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I forgot to tell you. So this is the time where you wanna spice everything up. So I'm gonna take my ground, is that cumin? Cumin. Cumin, we're gonna take some ground cumin. <laughs> I think it's cumin. No, is cumin, it? cumin. Cumin. <laughs> so we're gonna, I, and again, I'll link exactly how much we're supposed to do. It's probably cumin. No. No, and it's gonna, cumin. Cumin, yeah. And we're just gonna sprinkle that in. I love cumin, so we're just gonna take a bunch of this and throw this in. I really don't measure. And then I'm gonna take the cayenne pepper, spice it up with some cayenne. Oh my gosh, so good. And then just some black pepper. And stir that in. All right, now we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. And one more thing, I forgot to tell you guys to cover that, 20 minutes. Okay, so just showing you guys after a couple minutes, you'll start to see how the quinoa will start becoming a little bit more tender looking, and then it also starts soaking up some of that broth. So we still have about like 10 more minutes to go. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. This is what it's gonna look like. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a half a can of lentils, like that. And basically the recipe calls for all black beans, but I like to mix it up and put some lentils and black beans. So I'm going to do about a half a can of lentils and then a half a can of the black beans. I mean, you could really add whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna mix that together. And I do love black beans, so I'm gonna throw some more in. And doesn't that smell so good? Can you add some Taco Bell steak? <laughs> like it smells so good. And you know what, I'm gonna throw even more black beans in. Why not? All right. All right, zoom in on that. That is what the final product looks like. And then I just let that sit in there, let the beans warm up with everything, but that's the final look of it right there. So yummy. So basically you could take this off the stove right now. It's a stove, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost said oven. <laughs> All right, so basically you can take it off the stove as is, just like this, throw it on some plates and serve it, which is seriously amazing. But I'm gonna share with you guys how I eat it for lunch. I'm gonna throw it on like a tortilla. You can make tacos out of this. Brian, we had tacos the other night with this and how good was it? Like it tastes like a taco. I like when you th use your cooking terminology of throw it on a plate. <laughs> Gonna throw it on a plate. So basically zoom into this because you can serve it as is, just like that. What she's going to do next is show you how to input this into a taco or throw it on a plate. Give us a refrigerator tour. What do we got in here? <laughs> refrigerator tour. Quick refrigerator tour. We have leftovers because I literally just made this the other day. So there's my leftovers. I got leftover brown rice, black beans. Look at all these, I've almost said veggies. Look at all this fruit, avocado or guacamole or what does Ryan call it? Uh, Guac or mm. something crazy. We got salsa. Tons of apples and carrots, strawberries, and then, oh, we've got milk, and then we also have almond milk because we're trying to, this stuff is the freaking best. We're trying to get my son, our youngest son is like milk obsessed, and I'm trying to cut back on his milk, and I'm trying to serve him like almond milk. He doesn't eat food, he just drinks He just milk. drinks milk, so I'm trying to like get him like and stop drinking so much milk, and I want him to drink healthier milk. So we're trying to wean him off milk and get him to almond milk. So far, how's it going, babe? It's kind of going with him. I'm still He's on milk. <laughs> All right, so I found the hummus. We're good. Babe! All right, so taking these Ezekiel, the sprouted grain tortillas I showed you, I'm gonna take one of those, and what we're gonna do, this is a lunch option that's so good, and I eat this so much for lunch. Now, you can do this with or without hummus. Sometimes it's really good if you just spread a little bit of hummus onto the tortilla. All right, we're gonna spread a thin layer of hummus. This is the red pepper hummus. All right. All right, then we're gonna take some of these organic romaine leaves, and I like to throw these on as my next layer. Get a bunch of those on. And then moving back on over here, we're gonna scoop some of this, put it inside the tortilla and lettuce, roll that up, and you got such a good lunch. Okay, dinner option two that I just made for my family the other night, and even my youngest, who is the pickiest ever, ate it and really liked it. So I'm just taking a normal taco shell. You can use hard shells, soft shells, whatever. And this is completely easy. Just take a taco shell. We're gonna throw some of that mixture in over here again. We're gonna serve it just like you would, like if you were eating meat in your taco. Then I'm just gonna take some cheese. Now, if you are vegan, you don't need to add the cheese step, but add some cheese and then there you go. Literally, this tastes exactly like a taco and it is so healthy and so good. So there you go, guys. There's three different options. Taco, this is a perfect lunch. You can serve it plain. That is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Seriously, I eat this. I mean, I make this all the time and I just switch up different ways of creating it and you can kind of do your thing with it. So hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down below if you plan on trying it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.